Hey everyone! Welcome! I am here today with a brand new show, and I mean brand new, like the first episode just dropped today as I am watching it. You guys, I am so excited to be checking out the book of Boba Fett today. I have been waiting for this one ever since they dropped that little teaser at the end of uh, The Mandalorian last time. Um... I'm just really expecting really good things out of this. I think I think I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'm hoping we all enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy watching it along with me. Um, so I will briefly get into just kind of where I'm at in my knowledge going into this series. Um, just for anyone who might not regularly keep up with me, or just uh, maybe you do, but you're still wondering. Um, but first, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so let's talk about what I know about Boba Fett. <laughs> um... I think I basically just uh, the only thing that I really have not seen all of yet because I'm still reacting to Clone Wars and I'm like halfway maybe halfway through season five um, that the rest of Clone Wars if there's any reference to Boba Fett and the rest of it and uh, and Bad Batch I have not seen I've seen pretty much a lot of other Star Wars stuff you guys I saw the Mandalorian I think that's primarily what we're going to be going off of um I mean and and the, everything that we know from the movies of course like how exactly did Boba Fett get out of the Sarlacc pit we still don't know <laughs> that I'll be curious to see but um I think that's pretty much, you know, I think I'm mostly, unless there was something major that I missed from, you know, not having seen the rest of Clone Wars or Bad Batch, um, I'm pretty much just kind of up to speed on everything. I'm very excited to see this. Um, I loved both seasons of The Mandalorian, and I just thought that Boba Fett and The Mandalorian was so spectacular. Um, I love that they got the actor back from the movie to play him. That's Jen. He just does a ridiculously great job. Um, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to um, kind of picking up where we left off. Where we left with Boba Fett at, in the post credit scene um, of the last episode of The Mandalorian, he uh, he it looked like he kind of came in and like uh, was was overthrowing Jabba. Um, it was a pretty spectacular scene, you guys. So uh, yeah, I'm just excited to go in, pick up where we left off, and see what adventures lie ahead of us with Boba Fett. So uh, on that note, what do you say we go ahead and jump right into this first episode? of the Book of Boba Fett. Let's go. Nice. They're showing scenes from the... I mean, clearly not nice what happened, but nice that they're showing scenes. There's a... He got, he got eaten. Whoa. That's not what you want to see. Oh, he's he always using he's using their like oxygen. Okay, all right. Well, now we're to, we're immediately addressing how he survived this. Whoa, sick in so many ways. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> like back from the dead. Oh no, and this is, they came and took the armor. Cause he didn't have, so that was the part of the plot in the last season of Mandalorian, right? And he came back for his armor. Oh, this isn't, this, I, somehow I felt safer with the Jawas. Is that like a, ew! I know I'm supposed to be waking him up, but at the same time, ew. He can't, he can't, he can't get out, and he has to keep going. Oh, that's awful. He must be, like, close to death at this point. They're just, they're just making him walk. Like, really? You can't just, like, throw him up on your, what are that, what are those called again? Banthas? Is that what they're called? Look at how big that animal is. You can't just put him on your animal, really? 
Uh, you know what? You really don't have... What is this about? Really? Why are we hitting him? Why are you... What is their problem? Tell them to stop! While he drinks water. And this poor... This poor guy is probably, like, close to death. Oh. Oh, look, they got someone else. They're not planning on, like, that beast isn't going to eat them, is it? I feel like the intent is for the beast to eat them. He's awake. He's awake. Oh, he doesn't look happy. He's like, I need, I need to start pulling harder. So good, so all right it's the it, this beast is inching its way and he's just he's just like i want to see how this is going to play out it can see you though it knows what you're doing go faster oh 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 and there and there okay he, just in time just in time okay Oh, we're gonna use his teeth. That's resourceful. I'm guessing. He was trying to help. It seems hungry and angry. It seems hangry. They're they're really dangerous, aren't they? I feel like they've built up that they're very, very dangerous. But so is Boba Fett. So. Ow. And I mean, all this while I'm sure he's like barely alive. I'll let them know you're on your way. Oh, and this is the, he's taking, he's taking over the palace. They, they've come to, oh. Oh, we're gonna see him suit up. This, oh, the music though. Nice. Hail to the king! We were told the mayor was coming to pay tribute. Ah, indeed, yes. With apologies, I understand how one might draw such a conclusion from the correspondence. Very well. Was a misunderstanding. In my greetings and appreciation of the mayor's tribute. Another understandable misunderstanding. The uh, only tribute I bear is the mayor's heartfelt welcome which I express in his stead. Oh, it's a no, it's a nice welcome. So you a, bring no tribute. The mayor's heartfelt welcome. The welcome is the tribute. Regrets that he's been drawn away by pressing matters, milady. Could we not have stopped and picked up a box of candy or anything? Job. Actually, there is one other matter, if I may. Um, you should leave. The matter of tribute. I'm confused. He wants you to pay him. Are you kidding me? You show up without tribute? Offers the gift of your leave unmolested. Hmm. You can leave alive. Apologies and appreciation. The mayor may take it differently, but I shall indeed convey your sentiment. The mayor who saw fit to not send any tribute at all. I would not be surprised if you received another delegation in the near future. That sounded like a threat. That sounded like a threat. Uh, they were captured alive as a tribute to you, Lord Fett. Their tortured squeals will send a piercing message to all potential challengers to your throne. Oh, wow. Do not torture. He's not Let into torture. Would you be loyal to me if I were to spare you? I think they I think they would, yeah. I don't think there's any This is a bad idea. He's the, he's not he doesn't he doesn't torture. He's the, he's not a, he's not super good, but he's not a torturer. Especially after what he went through. I'm sure that made an impression on him. You should have let them carry you on a litter. I'm not being carried around the streets like a useless noble. He's he's that's not his thing. I mean, oh, here we are! Yeah, I remember all this crew. Good.
good to see we're we're still we're still in the music biz. Would you like your helmet serviced and clean while you wait for Madame Garcia? No. Sure. Here, take with us. <laughs> He's like, I will, however, take you up on the helmet cleaning. I was gonna say, wasn't she just saying you have to go with the flow? Apologies, I didn't see your litter. I wasn't carried on a litter. I walk on my own two feet. Yeah, he's he's apologies. I'm just here to introduce myself. He's not here to be carried. Making the long journey to visit our establishment. It is our little slice of paradise. And you are always welcome. As it is yours now. Okay. We're and we're just oh and so just going to and they yours look shinier than mine. It's quite shiny. A lot of shine up in there. Java rarely left his chambers. Java ruled with fear. Hmm. I intend to rule with respect. That's nice. In difficult times, fear is a sure bet. Yeah. That doesn't make it right, though. What is happening here? Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, but oh, and they're and they're all over it. They're all. I guess you know. I've, he's good. He's got a whole empire now. But still, they're taking the coin. What is what exactly? It, are these? Who are they? Ha ha! I bet. I bet we're glad we didn't just torture him now. We kept him as our loyal guards. Also, I'm really impressed at how many of the looks are not CG. Like, I don't know exactly about these guys right here, but I know, like, when I was looking at, like, the guy who came in and for the mayor and everything, like, it, look, it looked all like it was really there. It did not look like CG. Whoa! Alive. Got it. Yeah, he's not into, like, needless killing. Well, oh, so much for alive. She got one. She got one of them. She got one of them alive. Good Lord. How long did this go on? Oh, oh. Dig, start digging. Oh, you want me to dig for that? Water. You want me to dig for water? How about giving him some water? He looks pretty parched. I'm sorry. I know you don't mean to just not give him a shovel and just make him use his hands in million degree sand. <laughs> oh, he's, he's kind of a good doggy. He's kind of a he's kind of a good doggy thing. <laughs> you want him to keep digging? Let him have the water. Fine, you could have the rest. He just wanted a little bit so he could friggin' stay alive. Drink. Oh! At least the dog, at least the dog is getting it. Cause if he just poured it on the ground, I'd be like, "You're." Both escaped if you didn't sound the alarm. Yeah. Why did you do that? We can get to Anchorhead. I can get us off world. I could also strangle you with this ankle chain and feed your leg to the watchdog. He's not, I don't think he wants to rock the boat here. I think he's probably been a prisoner for a long time and just wants to not incur any wrath from his captors. Or he has a different reason for, what is the, what? 
What's that? It's, it's a- Whoa! Hey, whatever it is, it is still alive and well. Whoa. With multiple arms. Whoa, and that's- Oh, no! That person's- That person's- ah, That person's- That person's done. Not the dog! No, come on now, don't- but don't hurt the dog. The dog is just trying to protect his territory. <gasps> he hit the dog. Ugh. And it's the, it's, the, it's. Wow. Yeah, no. I think we're in some serious trouble here. Wow. Oh, it is just, didn't he say it was a kid though? That is kind of unfortunate to see anything happen to a kid. Oh, well, and there's this, the chain straggling we were talking about earlier. But perhaps now we'll let him have some water and some dignity. Perhaps. Is that an option? We're, yeah, we're... Oh, bye-bye, beastie. Okay. All right. He saved you. Ha, 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 ha. What a boy. Please don't tell me he's taking credit for this. <laughs> Just kind of a play-by-play -play of how this went down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's just telling them how great he is. And now he gets some wood. Now he's, uh, he's getting a little bit. He's getting a little bit of respect around here, which I think is very much due. Now, maybe now that we're past the whole beating him up thing, perhaps we can come to an understanding. All right, you guys, that was phenomenal. Boy, I have to say, it's um, it's definitely following in that same tone of, like, The Mandalorian, but it reminds me a lot of, like, early Mandalorian um, before we met the baby and everything. Um, and it got, like, a little bit more, a little bit more, like upbeat adventure like this this I mean it, it perfectly it perfectly hit the tone you would expect from a story that's coming out of Tatooine it, it was dead on for that I feel like um and again I love how they kept certain things going like the art at the end and everything the music was was really really fantastic um the acting was great oh my god I'm just so happy to see these two again I cannot even tell you um how happy and grateful I am um I really liked just kind of the little um we didn't have like a huge like setting up of the plot like okay here's what we're going to be doing here's it it felt very like one kind of one shot ish like the like the mandalorian did it's very much in the same format um and i like that it's just kind of catching us up on what boba fett went through while also kind of showing us current like you know what is he doing at present and he has come in to take over this whole empire, which I actually didn't even uh, remember from. I remember Bib Fortuna at the end of, in the like teaser uh, post credit scene. But um, I guess he was running the place. And, uh, and yeah, he got overthrown. So this is kind of both the beginning of Boba Fett's journey as the new leader and also kind of catching us up on um, what brought him here. Almost kind of getting like early Arrow vibes from the fact that we're doing like the flashbacks kind of interspersed with the current story. Um, but I wouldn't say there is like, on. I don't know if, an, if anyone's seen Arrow. I saw like for several seasons. And um, I, I wouldn't say there quite as connected these flashback scenes like they're not so directly connected to the present that you could like really see how they're driving a big parallel but I can definitely see how there are things we're seeing in the flashbacks that are playing out 
a little bit more in present day, like him having been captured and tortured, and he's really not into capturing and torturing anyone else. Like that, I can see kind of come full circle. Um, I loved seeing him just kind of like getting used to being the new ruler. He doesn't really strike me as a big like, you know, ruler kind of guy. Um, I think that's a position that like, while it's cool that he's in a position of power, he is very much like, he's a little too rough and tumble to be like the exalted type, you know what I mean? And I think we're already seeing that a lot. And the fact that like he doesn't want to be carried around, you know, he's not into the pomp and circumstance. Although it was nice of him to just uh, show up and, and uh, show some goodwill towards, uh, um, was that Mos Eisley or did they call it, I think they called it something else, but it looked like Mos Eisley. Um, but uh, yeah, just kind of showing up to be like, hey, just, uh, I'm, I'm the new guy in town. I'm the new head honcho and, uh, just wanted to come over and say hello. And it sounded like a lot of them weren't aware. So, um, yeah, I'll be curious to see how this plays out because he's certainly, like I was saying, he's not like lawful good by any stretch of the imagination, but he does certainly have like an honor system that he works on, like a, like a code that he works by. Um, and from everything I know about Tatooine, there's going to be a whole lot that's going to interfere with that code. So it's kind of going to be interesting to see him. Like, is he is he coming in to really, like, make a big change? Like, what really is the goal here? Is he coming in to, like, make a big change to all of us? Or is he just kind of like, he's here, he's, he's enjoying the power, but he's also going to do it his own way? Um, or is it going to be a little bit of both? Are we going to end up, like kind of having to change the game a little bit. Um, love seeing Fennec in action. That was, uh, she's so cool. And uh, I'll, I'll really look forward to seeing where this is all going, you guys. What a strong so start to the series. So many, like, really just scenes that were just cool for the sake of being cool. Like him getting armored up with the music and him with the chain and, oh, just so many. Him uh, catching the club. Um, so many really, really, really great scenes, great visuals in this. Um, and it does look like he has to, he has to be in that tank like fairly often. So I'm guessing he sustained some maybe permanent damage from what happened to him. That's kind of like, I feel like what they're inferring, but they haven't really come out and said it aside from just showing him like needing the tank. Um, so, all right, guys. I cannot wait to see more of the series. I think this is, I think if, if the Mandalorian is any indication, um, this is probably going to be the slowest episode, which is really saying something. So we had a lot going on here. So I have a feeling like from here on, it's even going to be like even more action adventure, you know, building upon what we did in the last episode. Kind of a mix of, like, building a story and just also fun one-shot adventures. So, um, and I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we're going to have, like, a lot of cameos from The Mandalorian or not. Um, I'll be curious to see. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy to be a Star Wars fan right now. It's a really good time to be a Star Wars fan. So, all right, guys. Uh, I liked it a whole lot. I'm looking forward to more. And I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.